What's going on, everybody? Happy Wednesday. Want to get this video put out. I know I'm down for surgery and stuff like that for the day, but this is kind of important out there. North Carolina card shop is burglarized over uh, last Friday at 3.20 in the morning. The thief was caught on camera, hence the thumbnail to the video and everything out there. I'm going to talk a little bit about it, show you guys some clips of the videos. Link will be in the description and everything if you guys want to see, because I don't know how well the videos are going to sound on this first time doing it, and I've been playing around with it for a little bit. But H&B Collectibles uh, out of Redding, California, had their shop broke into uh, just 23 days after it opened. Really sad story. It's disheartening to hear this, that some thief out there came in and broke in. I know a lot of people are going to say it's close to the holidays, it's expected and stuff like that, but if you're the business owner, you know, it really sucks. It really does. Uh, there's only so much you could do uh, with security onto the premises and stuff like that there. Try to keep your stuff safe. Uh, there's a couple videos, too, on here we're going to play. I think three total. The person wore a medical mask, so pretty much the good old COVID mask that we called him. Smashed the front door, crawled away with about $15,000 worth of cards and other items. So again, this is the picture here. If you guys are from the Redding, California area or you happen to know who this is, please reach out to local authorities on to it. Or you can get in touch with H&B Collectibles out of Redding, California. They will, they will be able to point you through the right thing. But you can see it looks like he's holding up probably his cell phone or something there trying to use the light because it is 3.20 in the morning. These cameras here have a... Um, a thermal imaging, so pretty much I believe this is the white hot mode onto it. So just uh, some stuff I picked up through my military background. Suspect was in the store for several minutes and was gone before the police arrived. When you look at this, you could probably tell the guy was in there for a few minutes. And I know a lot of people are going to talk about the police not getting there quick. The alarm has to trigger, they have to verify, and then it gets pushed out type deal. Now here's the thing, if that's a small area, which I don't know, like my where I live at, my local police don't respond after a certain time. It's got to get pushed to another city. Then they have to come out and respond or push it to the state or the county. So it could take, you know, a little bit for somebody to get out there from the law enforcement, which really sucks. And um, I, I just know because, you know, stuff like this is just really hard on the owners, their families and everything. Then you start thinking, is this going to be safe if I rebuild this? Uh, so you just gotta look at it and try to keep pushing on. I mean, Brandley new opened up 23 days ago. All right, we're gonna play the first clip here for you guys. Like I said, hopefully this plays through. This is the guy smashing through the door. When you see it, it looks like it's the glass that kicks out. It's not. It looks like there might have been something there, like a little banner or something that flips in. The glass is actually shattered, and I'll show that part of the video here later too. Okay, you can see it's smashed in. We'll hit the second one here as well, too. So hit the replay. Apologize, oh, it's a little loud. So, second part of the footage there. Uh, if anyone knows anything, let them know, share this post, etc., etc. Make sure you guys do. That's why we're putting the video out. Uh, the owners, Blake and Hope, told a local TV station that they took boxes of single cards and unopened product, but they're still tallying it up. I guess the 15000 was after all this and everything on to it. Here's a little bit of the aftermath footage as well, too. <laughs> So as you guys seen, he did ramsack one of the displays pretty good because you can see all the stuff pushed out, a lot of the wax off the shelves, stuff's tipped over. Looks like he was in there for a few. 
So that's why I was saying it probably took a little bit for the police to respond to it. If that local area is not there, then they ask go to another local police to come out. Which, they could be small too, and they had people on calls, but it, it, it's sad it happened. Um, hopefully, their inventory is able to be found out there, or they catch the thief and or, I should say, onto that. Uh, guy would definitely be going to jail. He was just a bad Santa. I mean, I don't know what else I could really say on to it. Just horrible. Uh, okay, that's the end of it. So, just something I want to talk about. You know, I was looking at opening a shop up back in 2018. Looked at a few different places. One was an indoor building that already had the security involved into it. You know, you had different office spaces. And I was trying to eliminate where I lived from where I broke at and stuff like that. Security is one of the biggest major factors. Like I said, due to my military background, that's something I always think about security. You know, personal well-being, stuff like that when I look at this. Um... A couple other places were storefronts, and the one thing I didn't like was having windows, because I, to me, window is an easy access point to get through, get in, get out type deal. Yes, it makes noises, but if I take the windows out of play, it would be one less, you know, avenue of approach for somebody to come in. My idea with the door system would have been you had your glass door in front, and then, you know, a little, like, four-foot little gap there or landing, you know, wipe your shoes off type deal area. Then you'd have your me uh, wooden metal door right there. So you'd have two doors, but the first one trigger an alarm, give the cops some time to respond, come in. Display cases have to be locked up every night. But I mean, you can still break those easily, but it's trying to deter them long enough to get police on scene. Then I also looked at things like hiring security, even in a small shopping center out there, you know, there's say six small local shops. Can we all get together, have one security guy somehow out there? What would it cost us each? Would it give us peace of mind? You know, would each business want to do it? Because certain businesses might not have anything want to be stolen except for me having the collectibles, you know. But it was just different things that I thought about when I was seeing this video. It started bringing back memories of, uh, you know, one of the reasons why I didn't open up a shop back then was just due to that whole reason. Theft is bad. Get close to the holidays, it gets worse because people get desperate. They want money. They want whatever they can get their hands on to sell. You know, it's just bad. Then the only thought that I kept on thinking was getting robbed. And, you know, hey, somebody comes in and then I either get shot or I end up shooting them or something like that. It's just, it was just too much. I'm like, you know what? I'd rather just do this a different way, keep stuff high value, even out of my whole area. Lock them in safety deposit boxes, keep very minimal where I do my own business from the home, and not have to worry about it. Uh, I don't know if that's the correct answer, what I did, but hopefully, you know, it just helps deter people from saying, ooh, I know he has these, <laughs> he ain't here, good luck, you know. But back to the shop itself, I'm really sorry to hear this, another shop uh, gets broken into. Even our uh, one up in Louisville, Louisville Sports Cards was robbed. They came through the roof. The roof it took high-end wax, like flawless NT, stuff like that. Uh, again, hopefully these guys, uh, this guy does get caught. The owners are able to recover from this out there. If you guys are from the area, stop by. You know, give them some sympathy, see how everything's going. Hopefully they can get everything fixed back up. Insurance pays out, and they can start getting new inventory and move on with it. Uh just a shame. Shame it happens this close, you know, between basically Thanksgiving and Christmas. You get robbed. It adds extra stress onto yourself, your employees, the family, everything onto it. Again, owner Blake uh, and Hope, they are out of H&B Collectibles, and that is in Redding, California. You guys know them. Reach out to them. If you know who this man is here, please reach out as well to local authorities or contact H&B Collectibles, and they'll be able to point you in the right direction. Other than that, everybody, I'm out. I should be live on Friday with overtime. Catch y'all later.